Hello everyone. In this video, I am providing an explanation about the painter Johannes Vermeer. Please be sure to watch until the end. The painter Johannes Vermeer is one of the most representative painters of the Baroque period. He left approximately 43 paintings, among which are some of the most outstanding for their light effects and color. Vermeer was born on October 31, 1632 in Delft, a prosperous city in the Netherlands. His father was a weaver and innkeeper, who also traded in paintings as an art dealer. Vermeer was influenced by his father from an early age, and developed his interest in painting at a drawing school near his father's pub. At the age of 15, he left his hometown of Delft to begin training to become a painter. And five years later, in 1652, he returned to Delft after the death of his father. The following year, 1653, he married Katharina Bolnes. He was born into a Catholic family, but he married Katharina, who was a Protestant, and they built a life together. Despite the difficulties caused by their different religions, he joined the St. Lucas Society, which was a mandatory membership requirement for painters in Europe at the time and ran a workshop where he trained apprentices. The St. Lucas Society was a professional association for painters and craftsmen that existed in many European cities. It was founded to protect the rights and professional ethics of painters and to promote the development of their craft and art. The union provided education and training to promote technical and artistic development. Young artists were able to learn from their more experienced predecessors and hone their knowledge and skills. It was also a place for artists to interact with each other. It served as a place where people engaged in the same profession could share information and exchange ideas. However, a religious problem loomed over him. Vermeer belonged to the Protestant sect of Christianity, which forbade idolatry in painting and sculpture, because they believed that the Bible was the only teaching of God. For this reason, he was a painter. Although he could not paint on Christian themes, since religious paintings and mythology were the mainstream of painting at the time, it became difficult for Vermeer, who could not paint in those fields, to make a living. And he began to paint elements of everyday life, known as genre paintings. Among his most famous genre paintings are Girl with a Pearl Earring, and Woman Pouring Milk. Unfortunately, around this time, there was an explosion at an ammunition depot near his studio, and most of his works were lost. Despite these hardships, Vermeer's life gradually improved, as he was financially supported. He took over his father's family business of pubs and inns, met a patron who supported him financially, and married Katharina, whose mother was the owner of a huge inheritance. Vermeer's affluent lifestyle enabled him to use paints made from lapis lazuli, which was as valuable as or more valuable than pure gold. At the time, sparingly in his paintings, the paint made from lapis lazuli is called ultramarine blue and the blue color. Painted with this paint is called Vermeer blue. His work is characterized by the depiction of light, and he used bright light to create a glittering atmosphere. He also created a tool called a camera obscura which he used to capture a scene to create a preparatory sketch for a painting. The camera obscura, which means, dark room, in Latin, is a device that uses optical effects to project an external view or object inside. By using this device, a projection of an external view, or object is projected upside down onto the interior walls of the dark room. The camera obscura made it possible to realistically reproduce the effects of actual light and shadow. Vermeer used the camera obscura to project a projection of an external scene or object onto the wall, which was then used to create a detailed depiction of light and shadow. This technique made his works characterized by extremely realistic and detailed depictions. In particular, Vermeer's works show the subtlety of light effects and colors. Through the camera obscura, he studied actual light reflections and shadow casts and faithfully reproduced them in his paintings, thereby enhancing the realism of his works. The camera obscura played an important role in 
Vermeer's pursuit of realism and light effects in his works. Let's take a look at some of the works that are believed to have been painted using the camera obscura. Woman Weaving Lace is one of the paintings that is known to have been done using the camera obscura. The painting depicts a woman weaving lace and is known for its characteristic light and detailed depiction of Vermeer. The painting focuses on the handicraft of lace weaving, which was widely practiced in the Netherlands during the 17th century. The woman's face is only slightly visible and her expression is difficult to read. But it conveys her concentration. In Woman Weaving Lace, the effect of light and shadow is skillfully depicted. Natural light streaming in through the room window casts shadows on the woman's hands and table, giving the viewer a sense of the atmosphere in the room. The bright light and detailed depiction, characteristic of Vermeer's work, make the entire work very realistic. This painting can also be seen as an example of inner genre painting, capturing quiet moments in everyday life. Through the women's handiwork and concentrated expressions, the paintings convey the daily lives of the people of the time. Woman Weaving Lace is a masterpiece that combines the effects of Vermeer's light with detailed depiction and is much loved by many people even today. The Milkmaid is an oil painting by Vermeer, dated around 1660. It is currently in the collection of the Musée Léon van Leveren in Amsterdam. This painting depicts a woman standing in front of a stove in a room. There is an aspect to this work that makes it a work of the genre known as interior genre painting, in that it depicts ordinary daily life indoors. The woman is depicted pouring milk, a routine act in the course of domestic chores, and her powerful hand is impressive and considered to depict the woman's inner life. The Milkmaid is an interior genre painting that depicts daily life indoors, and its vivid use of light and shadow and detailed depiction have made it a favorite of many people even today. Girl with a Pearl Earring was painted around 1665. It depicts a half-length portrait of a woman, with a large pearl earring about 2 cm in diameter. Looking back at the viewer as if to say something. The painting is particularly noteworthy for the expression on the woman's face. The light and shadow, and the representation of matter. The woman's eyes look directly at the observer. And her smile is seductive and seems to be trying to convey something. The beautiful shadows created by the indirect lighting. And the detailed textures of the garments show what she wears. Girl with a Pearl Earring, is one of Vermeer's most famous paintings. And is always popular in museums. The 1670s were a difficult and challenging time for Vermeer. The Third Anglo-Dutch War broke out in the Netherlands. And his hometown of Delft was severely damaged. In addition to the war, the death of a patron and other financial difficulties affected his work. And he was unable to sell any of his paintings after the war. He managed to pay off his debts, but died at the age of 42. Vermeer's work excelled in the use of light and color, and despite the vicissitudes of his life. His depictions of women continue to fascinate people with their serenity and graceful atmosphere. Thank you very much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Well then, let's meet in the next video. See you again.